I'm Sean Prez. Never been on a reality TV show star. I am from Wisconsin somewhere. They like me. I made the show. Give me a range. What am I looking at coming onto a show? And, and I don't know if it is specific to each show, meaning you can only speak for love and hip hop, or mm -hmm. is there a, a standard range that entry level talent comes in at? Well, there's a standard range that entry level comes in at. Actually, over the years, um, the show that I'm on actually has gotten a lot better about paying their people. Um, with that being said, entry level position for on a reality show, 3,500 an episode. It's not bad. If you're walking into this thing and you're saying, I want to do it, and you get picked up, probably 3,500 an episode. If there's 10, if there's 10 episodes, then that's $35,000. So it's not, it's not, no, it's, it's not crazy. It's not going to make you quit your day job. It's not going to make you live, but you've also got to take into consideration that no reality show shoots all season. So you're probably going to make $35,000 in three months. So if you, if you're making 10,000, you know, 12, $12,000 a month, then, then, then I guess you can frown upon that. But if you're making $35,000 and you walk away in three months with $35,000, then I, then that's not so bad, I guess, for somebody who's starting off and doesn't have anything like, going for themselves in terms of just being liked by the cat, by the production and wanting you to be on the show, but you didn't come in with platinum records. You don't come in with some kind of crazy history. You don't come on with some enormous social media buzz around you and your relationship or what's going on or who you're dating or who you are. And you're just a person that wants to come on this show. I'm looking at $3,500 an episode. How long is a typical season? You said 12 weeks? We shoot from, yeah, about three months. Okay. So if we start, if we, if cameras go up in, if cameras go up in October, we probably are finished in, by January, November, December, November, October, November, December, and then January, we're done. And what then they the bring you back. Huh? What does a typical shoot week look like? And then, and, and, I, and I think I know where you were about to go. You, you, and let's go where you were about to go. You said they bring you back. I'm assuming that's for the reunions. The, the reunions, exactly. So what they do with the reunions is you shoot the show. Mm -hmm. Most of these shows aren't shot in real time. So we're not shooting on Thursday and it's coming on TV Monday night. Some of these shows are shot weeks in advance. So I don't really know what Sean's been saying about me. I don't really, Richie, Sean doesn't know what Richie's been saying about him. So in order for you to get the most bang for your buck, you finish the season or you almost finish the season. You put people on hiatus. And then you say, you know what? We're not shooting anymore for five weeks. Go home and watch the show. And then we want to bring you back. And now you got fireworks because this funny face made or this person says some slick comment or something about uh, this and that. And now all of a sudden you got fireworks and that takes you on through the end of the season and into your reunion. So that's kind of what they do. Got you. A typical shoot week. How many hours of my life do I need to be available to this? Is this a eight hour job? Is it 24 hours a day? Like, what, give, give me an idea of a typical shoot week and how much time is coming out of my personal life. If you're popping? No, my, if you're do, popping. Do it both ways, do it both ways. If you're popping okay. or if you're just a regular person on the show. If you're a regular person on the show and, you're, and you just the, two things a week, Maybe one scene a week. One scene a week. You figure every, every episode usually takes two weeks. A week and a half is for one episode, right? Some scenes aren't going to go the way they want it to go. Some scenes are going to be crazy, and which means that they want to do follow-ups. So it's all based on if you're shooting and you're in the mix and you're doing really, really well, you could shoot three scenes a week. And those three scenes, probably two to three hours. So if you're popping you're gonna work nine hours a week. If you're popping, you're working nine hours per week. Three scenes a week, three hours a week, a scene, nine hours a week. You're popping, you, you made three scenes. Now remember, an episode is usually probably about 24 scenes. So if you're in three scenes out of 24, one week, then the next week is the, is the end of that. So if you make five scenes, and one episode, you're popping. You're out of here. You're out of here. 
that means that you're doing, you're amazing. Because a lot of people get one scene, because you got to remember, other casts have scenes. And a lot of times they piggyback and put you in scenes with other people, just based on who you know and what, you, what your relationships are. So if you're doing a scene, that might not be your scene. But if you're doing five scenes a week, pretty much means that your storyline is amazing and that people are following your story. Like your story is a premiere story on that show. You become an A character. Got you. You, t you just mentioned being in other people's scenes. Mm -hmm. How much time in advance do they give you guys, you know, before you, before you get the call and say, hey, we need you available to be in X, Y, and Z scene? Is it a day, is it a week in advance? Might be the night before. Might, no, it's definitely not a week in advance. You get your schedule, like say you get a schedule, you get a schedule every Sunday and that has your week. But then, like I said, things happen during that week that they might, somebody might get sick and they don't want to shoot, they don't want to shoot or they're sick and we don't want to shoot with them. So now it's like, oh my God, can we call Rich and we, can we push his stuff that we were going to do next week to this week? And it only benefits you. So I would always tell everybody, if they call you to shoot, be, this is your job. So just because you're only shooting three times a week, don't get lax and think that, oh, my schedule said I'm only shooting once because they could pick you up, they could call you on Tuesday night at 10 o'clock and say, yo, Sean, I need you at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. You available? And that's only more money for you. So of course, or it's only another opportunity for you to be on the TV screen. So of course you want to be as visible and as ready to shoot as they want you to be. So, yeah. Are you involved in the storyline at all? Or they just call you and feed you to the wolves. Like, hey, we need you at such and such bar at such and such time, and you're just walking into the unknown. Do you have any idea of what you're walking into? Or well, as talent, are you involved in creating a storyline? Well, you're involved in creating storyline, which just goes back to what I was telling you earlier. They're going to find the people you mess with, the people you don't mess with. They're gonna be able, through TV, through the video, they're going to know all the different things. Or this per you say, Sean Press says, oh, I'm the president of Power Moves. And somebody in a later scene be like, he ain't the president. You're gonna, there's gonna, they're going to make you address it. So everything you say, everything everybody else says is video camera. The, the, the looks of video camera, the words of video camera, the, the, the reactions to what people are saying about you is video camera. And they're going to start to make that kind of become your story. So for instance, I'm working. I'm doing something. All of a sudden, Rich Dallas says, oh, this is the hottest record in the world. And then another person hears that record at a later date. And they're like, oh, yeah, Rich said he got the hottest record in the world. And Sean looks at that person and is like, God, yeah, that record ain't hot. Expect to address that. Expect to address that. Or if you're like, oh, my girlfriend's name is such and such. And then another person comes and says, oh, my girlfriend's name is such and such. Expect to address that. So if they're not you're going to have to address everything that's said, everything that's done, every reaction. They're going to put you in positions to now you're going to go into a scene and they're going to be like, nah, Rich, tell them what you said. <laughs> tell them what you, you know what I'm saying? And that, that's what the producers do. That's what, that's what they call being produced. Now you're being produced. So now it's like, oh, nah, we're not lying about what you said. You said that. We have it on videotape. So could you please go say that? Go say that to him. Or they'll show it in your green screen or you're watching the television show and they'll show people talking about you and saying things about you that now you have to address. So is it fair to say, is it fair to say that these shows to some point or some extent are scripted? I never like to say they're scripted because the reality is you, what you do today creates your scene for tomorrow. Whereas in a scripted television show, they write you out. They write what you're supposed to do and what it's supposed to be. So it really has nothing to do with you. If you watch, I don't know, Law and Order or whatever these shows, these shows are gonna go and they're gonna be and Ice-T is gonna act this way and this is who he is. What you do today in reality television will determine what happens to you tomorrow in scene. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you.
If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.